Y'all know what it is? No, what is it? It's proper time. That's the same Briar Hopper's ukulele from 85 years ago. Wait till the sunshine nearly. Playing the same song that starts every Briar Hopper show. It's what they played in 1934 when the Briar Hoppers first went on the air. WBT presents Briar Hopper Time. And what they played in 1985, those same Briar Hoppers, live at Spirit Square. Which brings us to these newest members of the oldest string band anywhere. Well, I tried to sail this sea of life, I rode my boat alone. You're How close to today's show is the shows they did back in the 30s. They probably did them better back in the 30s because Crutchfield was doing the announcing. Nobody could announce like he could. By the way, neighbors, if you all would like to have a picture of White and Hogan and Hank and all the rest of the fry hoppers, goodness knows why you would, but if you want one. Charlie Crutchfield wasn't just the Briar Hoppers announcer, though. He was the group's founder and finder. All right, hop a board now, boys. Gonna take the ride of our life. Handpicking those homegrown pickers and fiddlers and singers for the Briar Hoppers and all the other groups that were regulars on the Briar Hopper show. Oh, yeah, this junk, I mean, uh, these, these fine products go are good. Were the Briar Hoppers bigger than the Grand Old Opry? At one time, yes. More popular? Probably more popular. I know at the height of their popularity, they were getting between 10 and 15,000 letters a week. And while the current Briar Hoppers are keeping the band's 85-year-old history alive today, well, you've got to come to Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, if you want to hear the Briar Hoppers' history firsthand from one of the original Briar Hoppers. The Orange Blossom Special. When they played the intro, I'd say, yippee! <laughs> Billy Burton Daniel is 95 years old, and while her voice may be weak, her memory's still sharp. Back when she was a teenager, fans everywhere knew her as Billy Briarhopper, sweetheart of the Carolinas, the Carolina Sunshine Girl. She was the make believe Briarhopper daughter of the make believe Briarhopper family who became real on the radio every afternoon. I would go into the studio. I got out of school at three mm -hmm. and rode the bus uptown and I uh, got back 3.30. And sometimes I had to learn two songs. You just wanted to sing. I just wanted to sing. Coming down the railroad track. Daniel still remembers getting her first check for $10 a week singing with the Briar Hoppers at a time when her feel-good family on the radio was the only way for listeners to escape the hard times they were feeling in their own families. Nobody had any money. After we played our hour and finished up at 5 o'clock, we would go out on the road and play theaters and schools. And we got to keep all the money we made on the side. And eventually, the Briar Hopper show was so popular in the Carolinas, on stage and on the radio, that Hollywood filmmakers came calling. We went to California and worked in three different movies. One with Lou Bell and Scotty uh, called Swing Your Partner. These days, there are no movies, Tear off the box no Briar Hopper radio show. The audiences are smaller, the concerts are fewer, but 85 years later, on the altar of this old Charlotte church, the music of the Briar Hoppers and the spirit of the Briar Hoppers still echo. Some glad There's so much history here. You know, you've had weddings and funerals and revivals. And so you've got all of that still vibrating in the floorboards. And you're up there playing and you still feel those vibrations in your feet. A lot of spirits. 
and you hope that when you play as a Brian Hopper, you hope that the spirits of the old Brian Hoppers are around you. It just felt so natural, mm -hmm. and the people were so nice. I just wish I could go back. I wish, when I think about it now, it's like a movie I saw a long time ago that I want to see again. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.